and good, good morning, morning everyone. everyone. Today we have a very important segment to talk about. We will be updating you on the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan and what was to follow, including the boycott of the Olympics. Thank you, Carolyn. The invasion has been a much talked about topic among the Soviets and Afghans. Today marks one year since the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. Spirits are still down in both countries since the fighting is still going on. It's, yes, it's been a hard, rough year. Let's help everyone understand what led up to the beginning of the war between the two sides. Excellent idea. Well, prior to the invasion, the U.S. was making lots of progress with the countries in the Middle East, such as Egypt, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and more. That's right. Because of this, the Soviet began to fear that they would lose their communist proxy in Afghanistan. Part of the Soviet's goal was to replace the current head of the Democratic Republic of Afghanistan with a Soviet-endorsed leader. They believed that this would help ease the pace of the communist revolution in Afghanistan. Communism was very unpopular in the country and the Soviets wanted to try to make people get on board with the ideology. This proved to fail and thus the invasion happened, mostly due to some communism and security issues. The invasion took place the night, the night of December 24th, 1979 and about 30,000 troops were sent in to overthrow the Afghan leader. This left many devastated, depressed, and dead. Unfortunately, it did. After the invasion, many were looking for the USA's response. This is where the boycott of the Olympics comes in. The Olympics were scheduled to be held in Moscow the summer of 1980, but the US was outraged from the invasion. President Jimmy Carter delivered an ultimatum stating if the Soviets did not withdraw troops from Afghanistan within a month, the boycott would happen. And so it did. Why, yes, it did. Now to help get an even better understanding on the information we have just told our audience, we have some very special guests to give their opinion on these events as well. This includes Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev and President Jimmy Carter. Yes, please welcome Leonid Brezhnev now. Tonight, we have a very special guest with us. He's a very busy man, but has graciously allowed us to interview him. Everyone give it up for Leonid Brezhnev. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me on here. It's a pleasure to have you. By the way, love the eyebrows. Thank you. You must be very busy, especially with the fighting in Afghanistan going on right now. So tell me more about that. We are fighting to restore Babrak Kamal back to his rightful place as leader of the country. He's loved by all, and the anti-communist Mujahideen wants to send the country into ruins and take over. They are dangerous, and so we are fighting to restore power back to communism. Recently, the U.S. has entered Afghanistan. What are your thoughts on that? Americans want nothing more to have capitalists rule the world. They are funding the rebels and giving them weapons and spreading them across the country. They will stop at nothing to destroy our success, but we will fight back. Thank you so much for your time. As we all know, today is the one year anniversary of the fighting and it's been a pleasure talking to you. You too. In other news, on the one year anniversary of the start of the Afghanistan invasion, fighting and oppression is still very strong. After World War II, as both the United States and the Soviet Union competed for global power, Afghanistan increasingly turned to the Soviet Union for support after the United States established military ties with Pakistan in 1954. Soon after, occupation was in order and terror commenced. Civilians are distraught after their homes were destroyed after a Soviet bombing late last night. Reporter Carolyn is on the scene now. I am currently here in the middle of a village that was completely destroyed by Soviet bombs. As you can see, survivors are, stum are stumbling through the rubble in search of loved ones, belongings, or anything that could possibly be found in the remains of their homes. Here's a civilian now. Hello, ma'am. Can I ask you a few questions about the tragedy? My house is destroyed. Can you explain what happened? This is happening all over the country. This is, n I never thought it would happen to me. The bombings? Yes. Just one day, it was all fine, and then it wasn't. This isn't Afghanistan, I know. What exactly happened? It caught us all by surprise. One morning, we just woke up to the sound of screaming in terror. We were all afraid to see what was happening. I walked outside, and I was suddenly blown back inside by a huge bomb. What did all of this look like to you in the daylight? I remember waking up and noticing all these bright lights that were so different to me. Who bombed your village? The Soviets. 
What happened when the Soviets first took control? When I first started, it was fine because we had ties with them, and then quickly we saw more soldiers, and that's when it got scary. I am aware that there have been many deaths as well since occupation began. Can you tell me about that? The number of deaths is so horrifying. Everyone I know has suddenly died. That is awful. It truly is. I just want this all to end. Thank you for your time. As you can see, this invasion has hurt many. They imposed military and social reforms. Their land reforms troubled tribe leaders, while their economic reforms worsened everything. During ethnic, during ethnic uprisings, they tried to solve it by implementing mass arrests, torture, aerial bombings, and executions. Let's head back to the studio, where we will talk to Jimmy Carter and athletes to get their insight on the Olympic boycotts. Recently, we have been subjected to a very hard choice, whether or not to boycott the 1980 Olympics in Moscow. For those of you unaware, the Soviet Union has invaded Afghanistan and will not withdraw their troops. Here we have our president, Jimmy Carter, to discuss his decision to boycott the 1980 Olympics in Moscow. Hello, Mr. President. See, thank you for having me on your show. It's my pleasure. Let's get this interview underway. Can you explain to me in your words what happened? Of course. Russia wants to maintain power. Everything they do is to stay in control over all the other countries. Why did they choose to invade Afghanistan? Afghanistan was communistic, and there was an uprising against the People's Democrat of Afghanistan. Where did they assume full control of? The Soviet Union assumed complete military control and political control of Kabul and large portions of the country. Why did the idea of boycotting the Olympics in Moscow come around? We issued them an ultimatum that said that if they did not withdraw their troops from Afghanistan within a month, that we would boycott the Moscow Olympics. Was this a popular decision? Other countries did later follow in the boycott because they did support our decision. However, many athletes were outraged. Yes, we have seen many angry statements from athletes that were to compete in the Olympics. We have some here for our show. Thank you for your time, Mr. President. It was a delight having you here. The pleasure is mine. I'm glad I had the chance to talk about our decision. As you can see, we just got Jimmy Carter's input on the situation. Now let's get another input from an athlete. Welcome, Kelsey, a member of the U.S. Ol Olympic team. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. What were your initial reaction to the boycott of the Moscow Olympics? If I'm being honest, I was really angry at first because I felt like the people who were making the decision didn't really have the right to because they hadn't trained their entire lives to get here to be in the Moscow Olympics. Did your opinion on the situation change after a while? It did. You, I, We all began to realize that even though the higher-ups didn't understand what we were going through. We understood why they had to do it after talking amongst ourselves because we realized it was for the better of the people and that they wanted to help them and we just had to kind of go along with it. Thank you. I think that was very well said. Well, there you have it. The facts from our President Jimmy Carter and the thoughts and feelings of one of our most prestige athletes. Thank you all for tuning into our newscast tonight. It was a pretty big one filled with a lot of important information regarding the current situations around the world. We hope that you enjoyed our show and learned a lot of new information. Well, folks, that's all for now. Tune in next time for more important interviews regarding world news. See you tomorrow.